Hi, welcome back to Japan Life with me, Jill. In this video, we will be talking about this tiny little thing right here. Yes, the control panel to your bathroom fan. This is very often neglected by foreigners who are new to Japan because, duh, aren't options for a bathroom fan supposed to be just between on and off? I know, it's ridiculous in the beginning how your bathroom fan needs this many buttons, but believe me, once you get to know it, you'll absolutely love this tiny marvel in your bathroom. In this video, I'll be using the Max Tri Fan 24, which is what we have at home. As always, the one that you have at your home might not exactly be the same model or the same brand, and you might have more or less features than I do, but I am confident that this guide would at least get you started on getting to know and taking advantage of your bathroom fan. This particular fan has four main functions which are represented by the buttons at the bottom. The first one, here represented with the drawing of a t-shirt, is probably the most unique as far as foreigners are concerned. This feature, called console, allows you to draw your laundry inside the bathroom. Yes, inside your bathroom, which has absolutely no windows. Isn't that amazing? This second one, read Yofu, allows you to cool the air inside the bathroom before you use it. Third one is the complete opposite and allows you to warm up the air inside the bathroom before you use it. Remember those freezing winter nights and you need to take a shower and you can't get your naked self into the bathroom because it's so freaking cold? Well, this is a solution. Before you enter the bathroom, simply warm it up by pressing this button. The fourth button is for the actual ventilation option, and it actually has two modes. The one on top, Yojun Kanki, is for the standard drying, like if you want to give it a quick drying after you've taken a shower. While the one below, Lo Kanki, is when you want to give the whole bathroom a more thorough drying. As you can see, there are bulbs beside the different functions, and obviously, if you turn on one of those, then the corresponding bulb is going to light up. Now let's talk about the rest of the control panel. Here you have a watch feature. And beside that, you have these two symbols. The first one, the one on top, is Gozen, which means AM. And here, it means Gogo, which is PM. Now that watch is not only going to be displaying the current time, it could also be displaying your set time if you want to schedule a function to turn on sometime in the future, or it could display the remaining number of hours or minutes before a certain function is turned off. Right now, it's displaying the current time. How do I know that? Well, because this bulb is lit up, which means current time. So that means right now it's 11.56 in the p.m. Yeah, yeah, it's four minutes before midnight. I'm a night owl. But this control panel would also let you schedule a certain function to run at a future time. And that time can also be displayed in this watch feature of the control panel. Let me show you an example, okay? Let's say I want to dry my clothes inside the bathroom tomorrow at 7 a.m. So what I can do is first, I will press this which is the clothes drying option. And then I would press this Taima Kirikai, which would allow me to get to this bulb, to light up this bulb, which if I'm not mistaken is New Jikoku. And that means your scheduled time. And then I can use these arrows to set the time that I want. So, Right now, it would take me a very long time to actually get to 7 a.m., but you get it. And this is how you stop it if you decide to cancel. So this button means stop. Another thing that watch may show is the remaining amount of time before a certain function is turned off. Let me show you. Let's say that right now, at this very moment, I want to use the Dumbo feature. I'll press it, and then watch here, the time changes. And once that 2 hours and 15 minutes is up, it will automatically turn off by itself. Again, I can adjust this by pressing the arrow buttons. And again, if I just want to stop everything altogether, then just press the stop button. Heishi, the one with the red border. 
What about this tiny little thing here, which reads "Ote ire"? Well, if that is lit up, I'm sorry to tell you, but that means that your filter needs cleaning. For this particular machine, it is advised that we clean the filter every month. So this bathroom fan and a lot of others are actually automatically programmed to run 24/7, and that is what this light here means. Now you're not supposed to turn it off. But let's say you need to clean the filter, so you want to like pause it for a while and stop it for a while. In that case, you press this button, and the other light, the one below it, will light up, which is Ichiji Teishi, which means to pause. Okay, last two buttons. This one here reads filter reset. So what you do is you take out the filter from the actual fan. Clean it either using a vacuum or some wet cloth, and then put it back in. After you put it back in, you long press this button for about three seconds to get the whole thing started again. And lastly, this button will allow you to change the current time being displayed, which I'm not going to do right now because the current time is just fine. And that's it, quick and easy. I hope by now you already know how useful. This bathroom fan actually is, and that these buttons are not just there to confuse you, but to actually help you. Thank you for watching this video.